Do you guys find yourself suffering from chronic Zoom fatigue? If so, then this video should be the cure to that nasty little condition. Yes guys, my name is Junaid, I'm a third year medic studying at Newcastle and today I'm going to talk a bit about how you guys can survive online medical school. I'm going to go over three key points that I've learned from speaking to current medical students that are having to do online med school and also from my own experience. So hope you guys enjoy this video and without further ado, let's just get straight into it. Now the first and probably the most important point is to have a morning routine, whether that be checking your to-do list, doing some stretching in the morning, or maybe even having breakfast. By having a morning routine, you'll be able to get your day off to a great start. And what this means is that you'll be able to have that momentum that you can carry on throughout the day. And this is something that has really sort of revolutionized my productivity levels and just how much I get done throughout the day. And don't get me wrong, there are days where I don't follow my routine exactly, but that's where flexibility comes in. There will be certain days where you'll wake up and you just simply won't have the time to do 15 minutes of stretching, have an entire breakfast and you know make a massive to-do list and in those times we have to adapt and be flexible. So for me, let's say I wake up late and I'm running late for my lectures or running late for my placement, uh, instead of doing like a 15 minute stretch I'll do a quick two or five minute stretch and I'll pick the stretches that I get the most benefit from. And just by using these mini substitutions, it just allows you to sort of tick that mental checkbox and just sort of get on with your day knowing that you've started the day off right. Just remember, it's always better to do a little bit of something than not do it at all. So just try and be flexible with your routine and also just try and be really realistic with what you can do in the mornings uh, depending on how much time you have. Also, just before I wrap that first tip up, uh, I have a very specific morning routine that I follow pretty much every single day. So if you guys wanna see that video, then drop it down below in the comments and let me know that you're interested and I'll make that video for you guys. So yeah, moving on to the next tip. So my next tip or mini tip is to get dressed as if you're going to your lectures. So I recommend you guys wear your nice outfits because you'll just feel good doing that. Um, I know for me personally, like if I stay in my PJs all day, I feel kind of lazy. I don't really feel that productive. Whereas if I get changed, I know that I've got to sort of do work and it just sort of mentally prepares you for that work. Now, a little Janaid exclusive tip is wear perfume or aftershave when you wake up. I'm telling you guys, it's a real game changer because it really allows you to get in the zone. And I know for me personally, when I smell good, I feel good. And when I feel good, I want to do more things. I want to be more productive and I just feel like I get more done. So um, yeah, try that out and let me know how it works for you guys. So moving on to the next tip and that is to study with your friends. Now, for you guys that have been to lectures in real life, you know that there's a lot more to lectures than just the presentation itself. There's also that sort of social aspect to it where you meet up with your friends, you have a good chat and laugh and it's just good vibes all around. And that's something that I actually really miss about lectures uh, because I'm on placement now, I don't really have lectures anymore. But obviously now that all the lectures are online, they've sort of lost that social aspect. However, I do have a little way around this. And what you guys can do is if you live with any medics or if you live with any students for that matter, then try and do your lectures together in the same room. Uh, obviously you guys wanna wear headphones so that the audio isn't distracting each other but by doing it in the same room it's just a bit of a nicer vibe and experience and you guys can help motivate each other and also keep each other accountable so for you guys out there that miss your lectures tell your friends to keep you accountable so that you're not slacking off because you don't want to be doing that so i'm going to throw in a cheeky little plug and that is that soon i'm going to be hosting group study sessions on zoom uh, i'm going to start off probably doing it once a week and you know if you guys are interested then we can start doing it more but here we'll be able to study together obviously uh, and just sort of get to know each other on a bit more of a personal level and trust me the vibes will be immaculate so you don't want to miss out if you guys want to know more about this then uh, check out my instagram where i'll be posting more details about it but yeah don't leave me hanging in there because uh, i will be there and i will be waiting for you guys so make sure you join but anyway moving on to the third point 
and this one is probably my favorite because it just gives me an excuse to leave the house and this is to break up your day i don't know about you guys but me personally i cannot sit in the same place all day especially if i'm trying to do work uh, what i like to do is i pick up my laptop and i just sort of move around to different environments just to keep everything fresh and I just feel like it keeps me a lot more motivated and productive. So if you guys are like that as well, I highly recommend you guys switch up your working environments just to give you guys that external stimuli that will sort of prevent you from burning out. Because me personally, I just find that I start procrastinating and burning out really quickly if I stay in the same place for too long. And also I highly recommend having tactical breaks that allow you to re-energize and just sort of take your mind off work. So what I like to do is I like to go on walks for like 20 or 30 minutes in the park nearby where I listen to audiobooks or a podcast. It allows me to take some time off work, get some exercise in, get some fresh air, and also learn something interesting whilst I'm doing all of that. So it's a win, 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 win. So those are my three tips on how to survive online med school uh, these tips also apply to any other course so if you guys think your friends can benefit then make sure you send this video to them like i said earlier if you guys are interested in us studying together and just sort of getting to know each other on a bit more of a candid level then keep your eyes out on my instagram where i'll be putting out more details about the study sessions i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions or just want to have a conversation then drop a comment down below or drop me a message on my socials and i'll try my best to get back to you guys so you guys know the drill by now subscribe drop a cheeky thumbs up and i hope to catch you guys in the next one peace so for you guys out there that miss your so for you guys out there that miss your lectures Mm-hmm. <clears throat>